So I'm Dr. Erica Peabody and this is, um, we're sitting in the Cafe of Life Chiropractic inside the Peabody Center for Wellbeing in the heart of downtown Fenton. And uh, I'm Rachel Peabody, a registered nurse and owner of Alive and Well Fenton, where we offer IV hydration, vitamin infusions, and vitamin injections. Awesome. So you joined us, I don't know, a little over a year ago? Yeah, like last September. So tell me about your first year now that you're over a year in, which oh is gosh. like time flies, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's good. It's good. It's growing. Um, it's been a lot of education, a lot of um, just getting the word out, letting people know that we're here. Um, you know, there's so much in this space that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, the, the big thing is just inviting people in. People are always welcome. Mm -hmm. We want them to learn about all the different uh, modalities that are here. Um, it's a lot of alternative, but it's a lot of alternative that's becoming mainstream. Yeah, Be people being really proactive with their health. So we can go down the list of all the services that are offered here, but we do have a new website, which we have been talking about a lot, healthyfenton.com. So we're there. Um, so a couple of the different things that you offer is injections and then infusions. Can you just kind of describe a little bit of the difference there? Um, infusions, I, I take it for granted that people mm -hmm. know what an infusion mm -hmm. is, what an, an injection is. Um, an infusion is just an IV, like where you put it into your vein, mm -hmm. like like you would see in the hospital. Right. And we just add the vitamins in there. Um, an injection is just a shot, like you can get it in your arm, your butt, your thigh. Um, but the, the big difference with the two is the hydration with the IV. You're getting um, so most times a liter of fluid, which mm -hmm. is like drinking two gallons of water, right. which big bonus for most people is we're all so dehydrated mm -hmm. that that will just peak you without even the supplements. Yeah. Um, you can get the higher dose of the supplements in the IV in most cases. Um, but the, uh, the injection, a, a reason why many pick that is it's so much faster. It's faster, so the time difference for the two. Kind of describe what an infusion situation, like what is that as you come in for one of those? What does that, that what, is it, what does it entail? Well, the first time is always um, the lengthiest. We mm -hmm. don't know how well you're gonna tolerate it. We don't know how well we're gonna be able to access your vein. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so on average, I tell people, anticipate 90 minutes mm -hmm. most likely it's anywhere from 45 to 60 mm -hmm. but I don't want people to be feel rushed it's supposed to be a relaxation yeah um, and then with an injection you know if we know you're coming you've already been here before we can get you out in and out in less than 10 minutes so I have watched many people come into the building and leave from here like what's been your most favorite part over the last year oh gosh when people don't feel good or they're trying to overcome illness um, or they've traveled and didn't feel well. Just when they reach out, um, I've got one person in particular that always sticks out and he is one of my regular um, who comes every few weeks and gets an infusion and he said it's been life changing mm -hmm. for him. Um, not that that's gonna be the case for everybody, but just to help people feel better. Mm -hmm. You want people to feel well. Mm -hmm. We can feel well. We don't need to drag around. Mm -hmm. You know, it's better to be proactive rather right. than reactive. We are truly designed to heal and to be able to adapt to our environment. So many stresses in our environment are what's creating a decreased immune system and immune response. And so it's just one of the awesome ways that's right available here in town to be able to do that. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm really excited to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to keep serving the community. Yeah. Um, that's what's the best part. Yeah. And just to tell, just to kind of share a little bit more, she is on the Chamber of Commerce, just got a big award yeah. for the Rising Star this year. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so that's <laughs> awesome. Um, anyway, we're right here in downtown Fenton. Yeah, come join us.